Hello everyone. Now I am going to show you how you can get the Facebook application ID and application secret. You have to add a, your Facebook application credential here for settings and then Facebook settings. Now you need to add your Facebook application ID and application secret. Click the add button. You need to put a simple name just as name says. Now you have to put API ID and API secret to get the API ID and API secret just log in your Facebook account and then go to the developers.facebook.com developers.facebook.com if you never registered in developers.facebook.com you will see a register button here I have already registered so I see my apps option from here click on add a new app www website just skip and create app id give a name your contact id contact email choose a category create app id please select all the photos which show a list of ok submit maybe i am correct yes okay. now go to the dashboard you can see uh, this application is in development mode but we have to uh, make it public so first go to go to the settings option you have to add a platform and the website and for add your website just copy the URL where you have installed the Facebook search engine, search engine application. In my case, I am installing demo.gnid.net. Uh, so it is a subdomain. So I have to give full path demo.gnid.net. And of course, you have to add the HTTP first. And if you uh, installed in root domain, so th you don't need any subdomain here just keep it simple generated.net but in my case i have done, installed it in subdomain and also you have to put the app domain name so that is demo.generated.net then save change okay done now in app review menu just it is in development development mode so you have to live make it live click here yes confirm now it is live so go to the dashboard again copy the application id put it here and app secret click on show it need my password put this application secret here then save so you can uh, see here uh, two facebook application are available here but uh, remember only one application will be uh, active always so if you think uh, this application has already exceed the limit then just enable the another facebook application enable it that means active update then 
this application is active and this is inactive so always on application will be active uh, but you can uh, add multiple application thank you very much